Welcome to Credit Matters TV. My name is Anne Charlotte Peterson, and I'm a senior director in the Corporate Ratings Group. I'm joined today by Andrew Watt, Managing Director, Recovery Ratings, to discuss activity levels in the U.S. leveraged finance market to date. Andrew, so how active has the leveraged finance market been in the U.S. to date? And Charlotte, the new issuance volume in the leveraged finance market is remarkably strong through the first eight months of this year. In fact, the leveraged loan market will have its largest month of August ever with over $15 billion of, of loan volume. Volumes in all segments of the leveraged finance market, spec rate and below, uh, has already topped $200 billion for 2012. Now, Andrew, pricing for many spec grade issuers in the U.S. has been very competitive. Do you think investors are being adequately compensated for the risk they're taking? And Charlotte, it's unclear. Uh, you know, there is this unending search for yield on the part of investors. And in this market where there are historically low interest rates, that, ye that search for yield is even, is even stronger. Um, market pricing has remained relatively constant for issuers in the double B and single B ranges. For issues in this triple C category, we're not seeing that wide dispersion of, of, of pricing relative to what we've seen in, in periods of disruption. So fundamentally, our outlook remains cautious. Now, what about default rates? Default rates have been remained below historical norms, and I think that, ye that leads to some level of in investor confidence around credit risk. Um, we currently expect the default rates, our global fixed income research team does, of 3.6% through March 2013. Okay. What about the rest of the year for the leveraged finance market in the U.S.? What do you think is going to happen? Well, for the rest of the year, I think the challenges are the, um, our chief economist believes that the, the two largest challenges facing the markets as we go forward are the concerns in the Eurozone, and, and there that seems to be an unending story around the, um, the Greek issue as well as the, the issue of, of whether or not the Eurozone will actually find a way to, to, to solve its, its, its fiscal and monetary concerns. And the second large concern is the fiscal cliff, which faces the U.S. at the end of 2012. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thanks for having me here. And thank you for joining us today on Credit Matters. For more information on the level of activity in the U.S. leveraged finance market, please click on the Related Content tab next to this video.